Hello YouTube and thanks for tuning in to Spankle Vision and we're back with another epic structure and today we got Comedian with me. What's going on Comedian? Hey hey hey! Alright and today we're going to be touring the planetarium and the planetarium's got kind of a unique story. It was started a long time ago on survival uh, by a guy named Scar Gaiden. He's from New Zealand. If you happen to catch this video, send me a message. I'll get you back on my friends list. We just lost contact with him over time. I don't know what happened to him. But he built this initial dome. And uh, it just kind of sat vacant for a long time. And no one, we didn't know what to do with it. And people, we had a bunch of ideas. What were some of the other ideas? I can't remember. Um, well... I remember back then people wanted to make like this uh, ice hockey arena and then, oh yeah like people were just trying to think about all these different like that it just didn't work and because it was a dome I just wanted a planetarium yeah so yeah comedian came up with the idea of a planetarium which works out awesome and you'll see why we're definitely gonna go check this out this is one of my favorite builds in the world so still all time so that's the story of how this happened. So here you go. You got like a, it's a planetarium. So it's all about the planets and the stars, right? So you got a big sun sculpture here. That's the sun on a pedestal. And you got the earth over here. It's got up on the pillar here. And we're going to go inside. We're going to, we're going to go around it before we go inside. Yeah. So let's see. It's the planetarium. And we're gonna we'll go cut this way first. I mean, this was a cool idea. You came up with this, didn't you? Like putting all the mini, like rovers yeah, and stuff I out did, here. Yeah, I made it one, and then I think Midnight Hot he made two. The yeah, see, they made like little, you know, because it's all about space here. So they, these are like it's like a little mini moon lander. And over here is uh one of like the large, uh, like return capsules uh, when the astronauts come back. Uh, this is really cool. I love this one. You can actually get in here. Yeah, this is cool. It's got a little bed. You know, this is what they would fall into the ocean in and they go pick them up. And you can keep going around. We got some more artifacts, space artifacts over here. This is like, yeah, like a Mars rover. That they somehow, you know, it's just like a replica one, I guess. Because it's not like they get it back, but that's what they would send up. And all right, let's go check this out inside. Actually, the Easter egg here. Somebody started working on the sewer. Oh yeah. I actually built on it. Somebody, I did this, and I don't know who did it. I can never. That's right. Yeah, there's a little quick Easter egg. We'll just. This was unexpected. I forgot all about this. We should continue this. We should do something kind of cool with this. There's like a sewer that they started. Yeah. yeah. Nothing too crazy. It's just kind of funny scary it's like reminds me of it like the clown like come on boys <laughs> <laughs> dude i read on the paper or on the uh, internet scary, today yeah. no look uh, friday the 13th this last week like in england there was like a bunch of reports of some like creepy dude dressed up like a clown like freaking people out in the neighborhood but anyway um here we go we go into the actual planetarium and you can see here it's like whoa there's all the planets up on the ceiling you know there's like the thing projecting all the stars you come and you take a seat and you'd learn about the stars they would tell you all about what planets were what you know there's actually one of these near us comedians it's actually really cool up in greenville um it's not as cool as this one but it's pretty cool um but yeah there's earth you can see like mars venus saturn uranus there's all they're all there even pluto's tucked off on the end and check I, this is my coolest feature i think how they put the the big dipper in over here go stand underneath of it so they can see it comedian by that light like a little easter egg yeah you see the big dipper there right above comedian it's a big dipper but yeah it's just totally awesome in here And it's, I love how it's daylight outside, but it's so dark in here. You know, that's how it is too. It's a planetarium. You know, you come down, like I said, and some, some guy is down here pulling the lever, telling you what, and they can move the stars and stuff. It's actually really cool. If you've, none of you guys have ever been to a planetarium, you should look in your local town. There's probably one somewhere and go to it. It's cheap and it's fun. 
get to learn about the stars and stuff. But uh, there you go. I'm gonna step outside here, give him one more look at it. Yeah, you stay down there, comedian. We'll send it off. And that's all she wrote. And that's it. The planetarium. And we will see you guys next time on Epic Structures.